Oh, welcome back, and today we got a new package in the mail, so I figured we should, uh, we should at least open it up, take a look at it, right? So, let's see what we got here. Sorry about the blue painter's tape, but I'm not in the business of giving out my home address. At least not to some people. Other people I buy things from, well, yeah, I guess they have my address, don't they? Um... Oh, nicely tight and packed and so this is from a uh, no distribution no distribution actually was recently mentioned on uh, big clives said actually and we have peanuts lots and lots of peanuts okay so we have piece of paper here And it's an explanation basically of the seals. It is the Cliff Electronic Component Quick Test QT1 US Canada Wire Colors CL1857 with 5 foot 16 gauge cable pre installed. Pre installed, pretty nice. Includes replacement fuses, BS1362 ceramic fuses, two 3 amp fuses, two 5 amp fuses, two 10 amp fuses, two 13 amp fuses. One is pre-installed in the unit. It mentions that, so probably only one in the spare bag. And uh, thank you for your purchase. Um, we hope you enjoy and find good use with this tool. A few notes of safety. Tools for temporary hookups, diagnostics, project prototyping. This is not meant for permanent, semi-permanent connections. It's recommended the tool be used with a GFCI ground fault circuit interrupter, protected circuit, or outlet for your personal protection. I'll add one other thing to that. If you have an isolation transformer, it's always a good idea to, uh, you could also use this with an isolation transformer as well, especially if you're going to be scoping any data uh, with your oscilloscope. If not, use a battery operated scope like my, uh, my Fluke battery operated scopes so you're not uh, directly connected to the ground as you in the, in the US on the grounds main and uh, let's see here we've included a set of fuses also for your protection based upon your project requirements 16 gauge pre-installed cables rated up to 13 amps if you should need to replace this cable use an extension cord to ensure that at least the 16 gauge or thicker lower lower gauge number meaning thicker so okay so he explains what thicker means lower gauge number if you must use thinner wire gauge it will require a smaller rated fuse for protection uh, 16 gauge maximum 13 amps 18 gauge maximum 10 amps the maximum rate in the unit is 13 amps do not replace with a larger fuse than 13 amps so the unit itself is not capable of handling higher than 13 amps the 5 amp and 3 amp fuses have been included for project needs that do not require larger currents. Useful for small electronic projects with lower current requirements. Okay. Well written out warning safety kind of sheet. I, I like it. And, uh, well, you know what? I had this new view here. Let's try it out. So here we have uh, a newer interesting view. I have an overhead view now for teardowns and such. So I'm going to move on to more project-based teardowns and maybe do some videos on the microscope and a few other little reviews that I have planned. We got our Ziploc bag here. Let's set the box aside. Inside we have another bag. And it looks like we have our cliff unit. As mentioned, the Cliff Unit came pre-wired with a 5 foot, 16 gauge, 13 amp capable US style plug with grounding wire. And it looks like it is UL certified as well. Great. Really nice to see. Uh, the text on the shielding matches up with the claim of a 16 gauge. 1.31 millimeter squared, 300 volt, yep, VW-1, 105 degrees Celsius, max temperature, so yeah, everything looks, looks, uh, 
Looks in check here. And here we have our actual quick test close to unit there. Looks pretty good. I like it. So here we have our neon lamp, which indicates there's, there's this really good point about the neon lamp. It indicates that you have power plugged in here. It does not indicate that these are live, that this is closed. If you have this plugged into the wall, this neon lamp is active telling you that the circuit is possibly live. Of course, the circuit is not live until these pieces come down. Here's your other 13 amp fuse. These pieces come down and actually make contact with the, you know, complete the circuit. So uh, here we have a really nice touch to it, actually. Not only is it the American colors for the American wiring or standard household American wiring, it actually has written on it. You can see here it says, uh, let's see if I get the lighting right. We have N for neutral, and then we have our grounding system system for the green, and the black one has the L imprinted on it for live. So that's really nice, a little extra touch. So not just color coded, but also labeled. Plastic pieces seem durable, as I would expect from something that Cliff makes. On the back of it, it says 240 volts AC 13 amp max European certification inside also up in here in the top we have not for permanent or semi-permanent connections 240 volts 13 amp AC max and a label which is probably the actual serial number to the unit itself so again just what he mentioned in the safety paper not to be used as a permanent or semi-permanent connection you can actually see the neutral ground and all well, the lives a little dark there because there it is there's a good picture of the live neutral ground and live imprint imprinted there neon lamp is definitely a really big neon lamp uh, then we also got the bag of fuses it came with let's take a look here so we had 113 amp fuse installed already well, let's see what the piece of paper says. Quick Test Canada. Lid incorporates a fuse switch device. When the lid is open, the cable clip is isolated from the supply. When the lid is closed, the power is connected to the cable clips. The glowing neon lamp visible with lid open or closed indicates power is connected. And then it goes about prepare a three core cable to suit your application. Strip outer sheath about 30 millimeters and inner core about 6 millimeters. Use this size cable for this, that size cable for that, this size cable for that. Also recommends different fuses for different cables, different gauge wires for different amperages. Lucky for you, if you buy it from him, it's pretty much already taken care of. He's already wired it with the heaviest gauge and the heaviest wire required to run this unit at its maximum. There would be absolutely no need to step down the cable um, to, to, a, to, a, to a higher, higher gauge and, and, and a thinner wire that would handle less current because at, well, at, at, at that point, you know, if, if you don't, if you, if you want your project to draw less current, then your best bet is to replace the 13 amp fuse and drop a smaller fuse in here. Now he provided several fuses here. We have uh, two 3 amp ceramic fuses. Uh, we have a 13 amp, two, there's one in there. We have two 5 amp, and these are bus man fuses, by the way. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It does say bus, bus man fuses, and that's pretty nice. I, I would suggest staying away from any type of glass fuse inside of this cliff test unit. Now, I've, I've already talked to the owner of the company, and he said he's going to basically order a stockpile of fuses. So, uh, because these these fuses aren't exactly something that's commonly sold in the U.S., but this unit is designed to run with these particular European certified fuses, he's ordered a, a bunch of these fuses. So you can buy the fuses directly from him, you know, in the U.S. and not have to wait that three to six weeks. Uh, he's, he's just going to stock up on the fuses so that way 
you won't be tempted to put a glass fuse in there you know it, he not only did he provide fuses for you so you have spares on hand but as soon as you blow one fuse you might as well get on his website and order a few more you know in fact I think I'm probably going to order a few more fives and maybe uh, uh, what would be coming probably fives and, and 13 I'd probably order a few more fives and 13 I, now I, I, I choose five because some of the projects that I work on that I'll be using this with um, I'm actually going to be tying this into my isolation transformer. My isolation transformer is rated for 5.2 amps with the uh, toroidal transformer that it has inside. And of course my isolation transformer has a floating ground so this way I can actually scope uh, things that I'm working on with the AC to test the circuit uh, for, for, for testing any type of AC side of the power supply or, or whatever it is I might be testing that, that may be on the AC side. So let me go ahead and plug in my isolation transformer here and we'll flip that on and the first thing you'll notice back over to the GoPro is even though this is not shut my neon lamp is lit so it's telling me that this unit is plugged in so it doesn't matter now it's lit and live at the same time if I had anything plugged in here but it's still telling me that it's plugged into the wall. It's, it's getting power either in the wall or from something, in this case, my isolation transformer. So let's go ahead and I guess we can give it a quick jump test here. So I'm going to go neutral and live. And we have our meter set to AC. It looks like we have about a half a volt AC ghosting voltage going on here. And when I shut this, goes up to 132 volts. Now 132 volts is not my house mains. Uh, actually my house mains is about 125 but my isolation transformer does have a slight step up on the toroidal transformer inside of it. Uh, the step up is to compensate for uh, the drop of voltage for, for load. So if I plug this into my direct mains into my house itself it's actually 123. Now in my case, I usually, when I'm testing certain things, especially power supplies, um, I usually use a variac and I start at a, at a very low input and I slowly work its way up and I look for certain components that may be overheating and what have you while I'm testing things. So uh, when I use the variac, I, I usually will adjust if I'm using very, if I'm not pulling a lot of current from my isolation transformer, I usually will adjust this down from 132 and I'll adjust it down to about 120 or even 110. But usually most things that you test are rated for between 110 and 120 US. So even if you adjusted it down with, uh, with a variac down to 115, 115 would be good too. And again, that works in line with my isolation transformer. The variac is actually rated for 5 amps as well. If you're, if you're looking for a good variac, look for something made by Staco. Uh, it's a company based out of Dayton, Ohio. I think they're still in business. You can still get replacement brushes and everything. It's very nice. The way he's got this package right now, the cord, especially for, for a five foot cord of this quality, you all listed and everything, the cord and the fuses really aren't that much extra. Um, and I've seen other units similar to this selling for about 30 to $40 higher US currency that doesn't come with the cord. And well, it's not in the US colors either. So it, it, he, he's really got it priced very well. Uh, he, he's got it priced to sell and, and he's got it priced to uh, uh, so everybody that's always wanted one in the US can, can finally get one now. Okay, so I'm going to stitch this in a little bit because I haven't managed to release the review yet. Here's the cliff box that you're in the middle of watching right now, but he actually sent me something new from his store that he's going to be carrying, and that is this SJ rubber cable. This is a very nice, fine quality 13 gauge rubber cable. I really do like this. Now, some people are familiar with the, the standard power cable that's pretty much on every computer power supply. Pretty much what comes with this unit right now, and you really can't complain because 
I, I've seen these units being sold without cables for much more than what he sells them for. He actually takes the time to put them in and install the cables and everything. So really good deal, the fact that it comes with a cable. But let's say you're using this in a quarter environment, like maybe out in a shop or a garage or something. You have winter time. These cables tend to stiffen up quite a bit. They're kind of like compressor hose cables. Uh, compressor hoses out of certain materials will stiffen up really bad in the cold where there's there's other compressor hoses that do fine and maintain their flexibility in the cold that's what I would compare this SJ cable to this rubber cable it's a really fine cable it will always maintain its flexibility no matter what the weather conditions like no matter where you decide to use this uh, cliff test box but let's go ahead and take a look at this cable real quick here he sells these cables for I think they're $14.99 on his store I believe they're available now if not they will be shortly after I release this review and I really like the texture of this. It's, it's a 13 amp, uh, 16 gauge cable. Here's the, for those that want the technical specs and all the little different part numbers and everything, there you go. That's for you. It comes pre-cut, which is also really nice because if you look at the instructions for installing the cable on the actual quick test unit, it tells you 30 millimeter from the shielding and about six millimeter of copper needs to be cut for actually installing it. So let's see how it came pre-cut. The one he sent me, 30 millimeters from the shielding. And a little over six millimeters on the actual copper. That's great. So I don't have to do any modifications for this cable swap. And like I said, if you prefer this cable, $15. I've seen this cable, the average sale of this cable actually sells for about $30. So he's selling it for a really good price. Uh, even if you just want this power cable for other projects, definitely jump on it. $15 is a great price for this cable. To change the cable is real simple. That is the quick update to the quick test. And the update is an optional purchase of an SJ rubber cable, which I actually do really like this cable. I want to do a quick update on the video here, show you guys that real quick. Highly recommend it, really good price. That's the US unit, and personally I think it's selling for a very good reasonable price considering that he has to obtain them from overseas bring them over and put some nice quality cords on it and provide some good quality bus fuses with it uh, even a little information safety fact sheet with it I think it's a great little unit I will definitely buy one and you can do just that by clicking the link down here below and if you click that no wait if you click that link down here below you can buy one is it down there or is it over here it's in one of these sections. Just check check the link in the description. Uh, it'll take you to his website, and you can you can definitely buy uh, buy one of the units off of him. Comments, questions, please down below. Subscribe, hit the notification, like, comment, and most importantly, keep on tinkering.